Yeah, what better way to head into the weekend than with cricket, love the cricket, especially when it's CPL cricket. The Trinidad and Tobago leg of the Republic Bank Caribbean Premier League concludes at the weekend with four matches. The hosts will play two as they face the Jamaica Tallows on Saturday and St. Lucia Kings on Sunday. The early matches will see St. Kitts and Nevis Patriots clash with the Kings on Saturday while Barbados Royals play one of their two remaining games against the Ghana Amazon Warriors on Sunday. All four games will be live on Sportsmax. This is all the table looks heading into this weekend's slate of matches. The Amazon Warriors and the Trinbega Knight Riders both on nine points. St. Lucia Kings on eight, Barbados Royals on seven, the Talawas on five, and the St. Kitts and Nevis Patriots really struggling because they've played all of eight matches and they have only two points so that means they're essentially out of um, qualification or trying to get into the playoffs um, Lance tough going for the St. Kitts and Nevis Patriots but all set up for the Trinbega Knight Riders this weekend especially after their impressive performance against the Barbados Royals on Wednesday night yeah and Shurfi and Rolf are having a tough time as the new Patriots captain and a very, very deflating experience to have put up 220 on the board and losing in that high-scoring match. And I, I, you could see his body language. He was completely deflated. So my heart goes out to Shurfi and Rutherford and his St. Kitts and Nevis, Nevis Patriots at the moment. But tight going at the top, at the top looking for the playoff spots. And as I said on the show yesterday, um, I, I like the look of this Ghana Amazon Warriors team and how well they are playing at the moment. But... Um, as the TNT leg rounds up this weekend, the matches are going to be very important because teams want to secure their playoff spots because you can't win the title without first getting into the playoffs. So um, that's where the action is. Yeah, and just to give you an idea of how thrilling it could be in determining um, those playoff spots, if you look at it, the Trinbega Knight Riders have played seven matches. So they have three to go. The Guyana Amazon Warriors, they have all of five matches to go the St. Lucia Kings have four the Talawas have four um, so um, when you when you look at it from that standpoint you would you would you would you as I said Patriots trouble 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 um, for the Patriots you can essentially count them up but the other five teams all in with genuine shots and that Trinbago Talawas game is going to be a good one Lance because yeah. the Talawas started well um, but they have lost their last two and find themselves in a spot of bother and they would want to get winning again which will not be easy against the Trinbega Knight Riders especially with the Knight Riders yeah. at home. And, and the fact is the Talawas are just two points behind the Barbados Royals who have played two games more. Yes. The Barbados Royals have already played eight games so although they're in a playoff position in fourth at the moment their position looks a little tenuous if they can't you know get wins to shore up their spot. Yeah all right Talking about the Barbados Royals, they will know their opponents for the massive women's CPL final when Trinbega Knight Riders and Ghana Amazon Warriors clash in match six on Saturday. That match will also be live on Sportsmax. It starts at 2.30 p.m. in Jamaica, 3.30 Eastern Caribbean time. Lance, I know you've got a lot of money stashed away. <laughs> Where are you putting some of it? Ah, TKR. I, I, I am with the TKR both on the men's side and the women's side. So I'm taking the TKR. And especially because Deandra Dottin is back in the setup yeah. as well and she adds a lot to any team that she is part of. Yeah, I, I, I think they missed her in the early games and I think that the, the, the potency of their, of their unit is, is improved with her in there. So I, I not only think that they should get by the Amazon Warriors, but they may beat the Barbados Royals in the final as well. Yeah, if there has ever been a time to download the Sportsmax app, it is now. The CPL is still going on. CONCACAF Nations League is happening. Um, and yeah, it's just a, a wonderful um, setup of sports. Well, the, he's a champion on the field and an entertainer off it. The most outstanding West Indian T20 bowler. Mm. He sat and had a chat with Mariah Ramarak about a new venture. Give me don't no no Give me don't no no Give me don't no no all right, so today we're doing something a bit different, but I couldn't miss the opportunity to, of course, come down to Dwayne Bravo's studio in Trinidad and Tobago, Port of Spain to be exact. 
and I'm really, really lucky and honored to be speaking to the artist that he'll be signing, 47 Ronzi. And you're very special because you'll be his first artist. Yes, it's a pleasure to be here. Thank you for having me. Yeah, and Ronzi, tell me a bit about this single, Thunder. I'm very, very intrigued to find out, you know, and of course my audience, why the name Thunder? What does it represent? What are we expecting? What type of beat? Yeah. So Thunder is my first debut single out of 47 Productions. Um, it's an Afrobeat kind of a Caribbean styling. Um, it's essentially a love song about two people sharing an intimate moment. And um, I love to sing about love. And Thunder really brings out the feeling, that electrifying type of song. So that was one of my um, main elements in the song to really portray that um, element. And DJ Bravo is the type of man, anything he touches turns to gold. Okay. And for me, um, I'm really fascinated by the fact that he has discovered you, he has yeah. believed in you. What do you think is the reason for that? Well, you know, when I was first introduced to come into 47 Productions, um, I played some of my music from before and himself and Tommy Sanchez, they really guided me to try Afrobeat because my main genre was um, R&B and hip hop, right? When he saw I was able to do certain things, you know, he was like, Ronzi, this is your lane. And he made a way for me to really push my music career. When you think about DJ Bravo, you think worldwide. So I think you're on the right path. I'm looking forward to see your success, but I can't let you go without, you know, at least getting one line from you. Sure. <laughs> Be my lover, tell me if you want it to be free, and I'll do me, no jealousy, come on over, tell me what you want, oh baby, please. Really, really beautiful. If you haven't heard Thunder yet, you need to check it out. So I'm sitting with a man we all know from the Trinbago Night Riders and what a win that was yesterday, doing Bravo. Thank you, thank you very much. Um, yeah, a very important win for us and a special occasion for the fans and also for all cricket lovers to you know, be able to see a century from our very own Nicholas Puran live in action. So it was a good game for us and um, very happy. What makes that TKR bond so strong? We all enjoy each other's company, we enjoy each other's success, um, we appreciate each and every one of us have a different type of talent set, while at the same time we remain grounded. You know, a lot of us play our cricket from um, teenage days and uh, we able to fulfill our dream and our true potential on a global stage where everybody's just happy for everybody. Yeah, and when you got back into the side this year, of course, the Trinbegonians and those that support TKR, because not only Trini support TKR, there are a lot of people that love and respect what the players from TKR do. They were really, really happy to have you back. What would it mean for TKR to walk away with that title again? It will mean a lot. You know, the last two years wasn't the best for TKR, and obviously, um, you know, the last two years I did not play. I played with Sin Kids and um, left TK, went Sin Kids, win with Sin Kids, and since then TK is yet to win. So, but I I wanted to always come back home to finish off my my playing days at home, and um, it was a, you know it will be the writing on the wall if it is we can go ahead and win this title, but. It's not just about me coming back, I want to win the trophy, but I think the guys were really hurt of their showing last season uh, with the team that they have and the quality and, not, and I mean finishing at the bottom of the table. It was, they felt embarrassed and at the start of the season, they reflect on, on that feeling last year and they don't want to experience that again. And, um, you know, my energy, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a very, Easy going kind of individual, fun, and, and, and my vibe is to just get the team to believe, keep us going, and just enjoy, enjoy the competition. I did a song for the team to inspire the team, and um, it's a trend that most, I think, I, <laughs> whenever I did a, record a song, most times you go on and win the trophy. So again, 
at the start of the season we played that song and you know my speech was hopefully this song can inspire us again to win another trophy. Speaking about song and music, you've also done your thing on the side. You know, something you're very passionate about. It's no secret. You've always been vocal about your love for music. Uh, 47 Ronzi, I was really impressed with her just now. No music, just her singing as if it's in the bathroom. Yeah. And her voice is beautiful. So tell me about the process of getting Ronzi. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a strange one to be honest. Um, never heard or seen Ronzi before, <laughs> and uh, but I invested in an app called Collab. It's an app that allow creative people from around the world to connect and. When I launched that app, I launched it with along with a competition mm -hmm. that um, whichever artist, wherever you are, I will fly you in to 47 and give you a free production. Mm -hmm. And it so happened that Ron Z won the contest and luckily she's a trainee. She's from Kuva, you know, and uh, then, you know, myself and the other uh, guy, he's an artist and songwriter as well, Tommy Sanchez, um, he said, B this girl is special this girl is special he said this is what 47 been waiting for she's very talented she's very committed her music is good and uh, we very rare you see artists with a good work ethic um very rare you see artists who can actually write their own music so she's special all right well you heard it from the champion himself 47 Ron Z is one for the future. She's one for now. Very, very special. And Bravo, you know, we as people looking on at you, very, very proud. I am a Trini just as you looking at you do your thing. And I will be following the career of 47 Ron Z and I hope to see her grow from strength to strength. Thank you very much. Thank you guys. Big up the sports mass always for, for, for sharing this and yeah. We here in the home of the champion. They always do well, the slogan home of champions. Yes. This is the home of the champion. So champion. Champion squared. <laughs> <laughs> We're out. Yeah, looking forward to hearing more from Ronzi Lance. Mm. I, 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 I figure you would like her song. You're big on your music. Yeah. Um, she sounded pretty good. Yeah, quality, quality. Very, very good range and um, nice, nice melodious sound. Yeah. All right. We're giving viewers a chance to enjoy Sunday's CP election with Sportsmax live at the Brian Lara Cricket Academy. All you have to do is answer this question. When was the last time the Trinbega Knight Riders won the CPL and who did they beat in the final? WhatsApp your answers to 876-564-7661. That's 876-564-7661. The first correct answer will win and don't forget our stream to win promotion for a chance to win tickets to the cpl final in guyana set for september 24. all you have to do is download the sportsmax app from the google play store or the app store and watch all the cpl matches live the user with most time spent on the app wins it's as simple as that there is only one day to go that's tomorrow the promotion ends tomorrow so watch as much as possible as you try and win that prize to get to the cpl final in guyana we take a break we'll be back with more it's how we play, 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 play. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah.